It's very difficult for us today to even imagine what it was like. But essentially, what you have is the northern half of North America covered with ice that is two miles deep, and the northern half of Northern Europe covered with ice two miles deep. So the world looked very different. Where did all that water come from that created those great ice caps? Well, it came out of the ocean, so sea level was 400 feet lower than it is today. So in, in summary, areas of the world that are heavily populated and economically productive today were under two miles of ice. And other areas of the world which may have been productive at that time are now submerged by the rising sea levels caused by the melting of that ice. What about population? What about civilization? Well, the orthodox view, the, the view promulgated by, by mainstream archaeologists, taught in our schools and universities, uh, picked up by the mass media, is that our ancestors at that time were entirely hunter-gatherers. Um, primitive peoples without uh, any uh, urban development, without any agriculture, and without any monumental architecture at all. Uh, these were nomadic hunter-gatherers who lived in dwellings of skins and uh, sticks. This is the, the orthodox view. My, my position for many years, and I've been working away at this subject for more than a quarter of a century, uh, is that we are a species with amnesia. Uh, that in the ancient Ice Age world, there did exist what we would recognize as an advanced civilization. But it coexisted with hunter-gatherer peoples, just as our own advanced civilization today coexists with hunter-gatherers in the Namibian desert, uh, in the Amazon rainforest, and so on and so forth. So I'm suggesting that the world's population was much more nuanced than we are taught by archaeologists. Hello and welcome to this book summary of Magicians of the Gods by Graham Hancock. In this video, we'll explore the mystery of a worldwide cataclysmic event that occurred around 12,800 years ago, wiping out advanced civilizations and drastically altering the Earth's climate. Graham Hancock is a British author and journalist who has written extensively on topics such as ancient civilizations, archaeology, and consciousness. In Magicians of the Gods, Hancock presents a compelling argument for the existence of a global cataclysm that he believes has been largely overlooked by mainstream academia. Throughout this summary, we'll delve into the evidence and implications of this event and consider what it might mean for our planet's future. So, let's dive in and explore the mystery of the Magicians of the Gods. Part 1. The Mystery it's no secret that our planet's history is filled with mysteries and unanswered questions. But few are as tantalizing as the mystery of the worldwide cataclysmic event that occurred around 12,800 years ago. What could have caused such a catastrophic event, and what happened to the advanced civilizations that existed before it? In Magicians of the Gods, Graham Hancock sets out to answer these questions by presenting a compelling case for the existence of a global cataclysm that has been largely overlooked by mainstream academia. One of the most intriguing pieces of evidence for this event is the fact that there are more than 200 myths and legends from around the world that describe a great flood or other catastrophic event that wiped out most of humanity. These stories share many common themes and motifs, suggesting that they might be based on a real event that occurred in the distant past. But what could have caused such a cataclysm? Some researchers have suggested that a comet impact could have been responsible, while others have proposed a solar flare or some other natural disaster. Regardless of the cause, it's clear that something extraordinary happened around 12,800 years ago that dramatically altered the course of human history. As we'll see in the next section, there is compelling evidence that supports the theory of a global cataclysm. So, let's continue exploring the mystery of the magicians of the gods. We have a, a, a sudden plunge in global temperatures. The, the, the peak of the Ice Age was reached about 21,000 years ago. And after that, there was a period of warming, quite dramatic warming took place for a short while. And then 
and then more warming and and generally over a period of thousands of years um, the ice was beginning to melt slowly and the global temperature was getting warmer and then suddenly really anomalously and puzzlingly 12,800 years ago global temperatures shoot down to the level they were at at the absolute peak of the last ice age and they stay there in this what I call a short sharp deep freeze geologists have a name for this period they call it the younger dryas and it lasts for 1200 years from 12800 to 11600 years ago and then temperatures shoot up again very radical warming takes place of, of, of an order that would make any talk of global warming today look quite quite minuscule so we have this anomalous puzzling period freezing temperatures lasting for 1,200 years brought on suddenly and ended suddenly and that is the fingerprint if you like that is the signature of a global cataclysm which radically affected world climate and we now know that the agent behind that cataclysm was a comet which broke up into multiple fragments and hit the earth as we've already discussed part two the evidence while the idea of a global cataclysm may seem far-fetched to some, there is actually a significant amount of evidence that supports the theory. In Magicians of the Gods, Graham Hancock presents a compelling case for the existence of such an event, drawing on a wide range of geological and archaeological findings. One of the most intriguing pieces of evidence is the presence of a layer of sediment that contains a high concentration of platinum, which is not found in significant quantities in the Earth's crust. This sediment layer is found all over the world and dates back to around 12,800 years ago, suggesting that something catastrophic occurred at that time. Another intriguing piece of evidence is the discovery of nanodiamonds and sediments from around 12,800 years ago. Nanodiamonds are tiny, diamond-like particles that are produced by the high pressure and temperature that occurs during a cosmic impact. The presence of nanodiamonds in the sediment provides strong evidence that a comet or asteroid impact occurred around the time of the global cataclysm. What's particularly interesting is that the discovery of nanodiamonds was initially met with skepticism by mainstream academia, with some researchers arguing that the nanodiamonds were of terrestrial origin. However, subsequent studies have provided additional evidence for the extraterrestrial origin of the nanodiamonds, strengthening the case for a catastrophic cosmic impact around 12,800 years ago. This evidence supports the theory that a cosmic impact was responsible for the global cataclysm, providing a plausible explanation for the sudden changes in climate and the widespread destruction that occurred. The implications of this event are far-reaching, and we'll explore them further in the next section. In addition, there is evidence of a sharp decline in global temperatures around this time, as well as widespread fires that may have been caused by the impact of a comet or asteroid. The Younger Dryas period, which lasted from about 12,800 to 11,700 years ago, is characterized by a sudden cooling of the Earth's climate, which would have had significant impacts on ecosystems and human populations. Archaeological findings also support the theory of a global cataclysm. For example, there are numerous examples of advanced civilizations that existed prior to 12,800 years ago, such as the ancient city of Gobekli Tepe in modern-day Turkey, which dates back to around 11,000 years ago. These civilizations appear to have been wiped out by the cataclysm, leaving little trace of their existence. Taken together, this evidence suggests that a global cataclysm occurred around 12,800 years ago, which drastically altered the Earth's climate and wiped out advanced civilizations. In the next section, we'll explore the implications of this event and what it might mean for our planet's future. So, let's continue our exploration of the mystery of the magicians of the gods. You can envisage this um, two-mile-deep ice cap which eventually comes to an end, uh, roughly north of Minneapolis. Roughly north of Minneapolis, take a line across North America, east and west from Minneapolis, and that's roughly where that edge of that ice cap comes. 
and then you have these colossal explosions on the ice cap and a, a great deal of the water, icy water, goes into the world ocean, but a great deal of it also flows south across, across the continental United States. And that's why we have features like the Channel Scablands in the Pacific Northwest, where you can see that the landscape has been utterly tortured and destroyed by what has been described as the greatest flood ever to have occurred on planet Earth. Part 3, The Implications The evidence for a global cataclysm around 12,800 years ago is compelling, but what does it mean for our understanding of history and the future of our planet? In Magicians of the Gods, Graham Hancock explores the profound implications of this event and the questions it raises about the nature of human civilization. One of the most significant implications is that our understanding of history may be fundamentally flawed. The existence of advanced civilizations that predate the cataclysm, such as those at Gobekli Tepe, challenges the conventional narrative of human history, which suggests that human civilization emerged relatively recently. If advanced civilizations existed prior to the cataclysm, what else might we be missing from our understanding of the past? The cataclysm also raises questions about the vulnerability of human civilization to cosmic threats. If a catastrophic cosmic impact occurred in the past, could it happen again in the future? The answer is yes. In fact, there are a number of near-Earth objects that pose a potential threat to our planet, and efforts to detect and deflect them are ongoing. Furthermore, the cataclysm highlights the interconnectedness of global ecosystems and the importance of taking action to address the current climate crisis. The sudden cooling of the Earth's climate around 12,800 years ago had far-reaching impacts on ecosystems and human populations, and similar changes could occur in the future as a result of human activity. Ultimately, the mystery of the magicians of the gods is a reminder of the fragility of human civilization and the need to take action to protect our planet and ensure our survival. As we continue to explore the evidence for the global cataclysm, we're forced to confront some of the most fundamental questions about the nature of human existence and our place in the cosmos. In conclusion, Magicians of the Gods is a thought-provoking and compelling exploration of one of the most fascinating mysteries of human history. By examining the evidence for a global cataclysm around 12,800 years ago, Graham Hancock challenges our understanding of the past and raises important questions about the future. It's a must-read for anyone interested in the mysteries of human history and the fate of our planet. Magicians of the Gods is a fascinating and thought-provoking book that challenges our understanding of human history and our place in the cosmos. By exploring the evidence for a global cataclysm around 12,800 years ago, Graham Hancock presents a compelling case for the existence of an advanced civilization that was destroyed by a catastrophic cosmic impact. The book is divided into three parts that take the reader on a journey through the evidence for the cataclysm, the mysterious civilization that predated it, and the profound implications of this event for our understanding of history and the future of our planet. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't limited. All the world's oceans are connected. Uh, you're looking at a process that takes ice that has been sitting on top of continental land masses for 100,000 years and turns it overnight into huge amounts of water. That water enters the world's ocean and the world's ocean rises very rapidly. This is the level of civilization that existed before the cataclysm. If you go with mainstream archaeology, mainstream archaeologists, as I said at the beginning, will tell you that there were only hunter-gatherers. Hunter-gatherers supposedly could not have had the science to anticipate a disaster of this sort. However, my view is that we've lost the traces of an advanced civilization in our prehistory, the very advanced civilization that was destroyed in this cataclysm. And such an advanced civilization would have had uh, the ability to foresee the disaster scientifically and to take some precautions to ensure that at least some survived and that's why my book's called magicians of the gods because i believe there were survivors they were often referred to as the magicians of the gods in mythology all around the world and they went they traveled all around the world seeking to restart to begin again what was lost